Kelly Dalby. I'm a mom of three boys, Chase, Connor, and Cameron. And one of the most difficult things for me to balance as a mom to three boys is I have two kids that are completely healthy and typical in every way. And then I have Connor who has a lot of special needs and needs constant attention. When Connor was born at a few weeks old, uh, we noticed something was a little bit off uh, with the way he, he was eating, crying often, he wasn't sleeping, he was very uncomfortable the majority of the time. When he was eight months old, he started having seizures and we started trialing a lot of different anti-epileptic drugs that are available um, and nothing was really uh, helping to reduce the seizure frequency and he was averaging um, about 50 seizures a day. So all day, all night, he was having seizures. The Dolby family story is sadly very typical. Connor was born with a unique mutation and the family spent years trying to understand what was wrong with Connor. He ended up being placed on hospice services when he was three years old, and they didn't think that he would live much longer based on the severity and frequency of his seizures. They said he had a mutation in what was called the SN2A gene. Very little was known about that. Um, they had nothing available to change his treatment or help him. Um, it could end up being very severe or he could um, improve, and they just didn't know. The mutation caused severe seizures, developmental delays, movement disorders uh, that were difficult to control. What we found was that Connor's mutation in the SCN2A gene was incredibly unique and um, basically he would need his own sort of treatment just for him because his gene mutation was not like the majority of the other kids with SCN2A. Um, and so for me it was about that time that I started really losing hope because I didn't know what else to do to help him. My son's now 11 years old and the seizures, I still, I, it, they still get me every time to watch my child have a seizure and there's nothing I can do to stop it. It still breaks my heart every single one and I've seen thousands and it never really gets easier. Eventually they learn the cause, only to learn that Connor is unique. There's not a single other person in the world who has his mutation. Only through and more is there hope for Connor. I feel like I've been fighting for so many years alone with my son, for my son, and I wasn't very successful in helping him. And, and Lauren, what, what is happening right now with a team of scientists and doctors and donors, people stepping in and giving their time and their energy and making a medication for one child for my son to help him and his quality of life and our family, it's still so hard for me to believe and accept that all of these people are coming together to help Connor. We are blazing new ground. My greatest concern is that because we don't have sufficient financial resources someday, I'm going to have to tell a patient we could help that we can't.